one of the exciting components of research that is happening right now related to epilepsy is looking at the connection between cortical focal dysplasia and human papillomavirus, particularly in relation to the impact or the potential impact of vaccinations and prevention of certain types of seizures. And I think that's very exciting. Could you help us to understand a little bit more what that connection might be and what the potential in the future is for understanding that? Yeah, this is one of the more exciting developments to come along in a while. Um, a few months back, there was a publication um, by some researchers who had look at, looked at the occurrence of human papillomavirus, which is the most common cause of cervical cancer, um, and its tendency to um, express a certain protein that um, will affect brain cells in terms of their migration and formation of the brain. Um, the group demonstrated that this protein was being expressed in a number of surgical specimens from what's called vocal cortical dysplasia, that being a little area of tangled nerve cells in the brain and that being one of the most common causes of focal epilepsy in children in the era of MRI when we can actually image the brain and kind of look at how it's constructed. It's a pretty exquisite detail. So they asked the question, what does one have to do with the other, one being common, the other being common? Mm -hmm. Not so common in terms of the brain malformation, but a pretty common cause. Um, and they took specimens from brains and human specimens and stained them for these protein markers that would give evidence that the virus had been there. And they found in 30 out of 30 specimens of focal cortical dysplasia removed at surgery evidence for the HPV virus. Um, in an uh, equal number of control specimens of brain removed for other reasons at surgery, they found none of it. So this was a pretty compelling finding. Um, they went on to look at uh, a mouse model where they actually brought this organism, this virus, in and saw what effects it would have on the development of mouse brain, and they reproduced, in fact, cortical dysplasia in the mice brains. So it's an early and not fully established, scientifically these links are always made slowly and someone makes an observation and then everybody has to prove it and strengthen it, but it seems like a pretty interesting notion that um, HPV, human papillomavirus, might actually be affecting the development of babies' brains and leading to cortical dysplasia and epilepsy. Um, the real exciting part of it would be if it's true and confirmed that there's now a vaccine against human papillomavirus available, and if a girl or a boy were to receive that vaccine, in this case a girl probably, um, but I think they recommend universal vaccination at this point, um, were to receive the vaccine, then the human papillomavirus would not be able to both cause cervical cancer, but also presumably transfect a developing fetus and cause cortical dysplasia, which would be, make this odd connection between preventing a virus from establishing a foothold and preventing epilepsy, which is a really interesting twist, but I think a very exciting one. Mm. And um, it opens a lot of thoughts up about how we might approach prevention of epilepsy. Mm -hmm. And just as a quick follow-up so people know what numbers we might be talking about, what percentage of childhood seizure disorders are related to focal cortical dysplasia? Well, it'd be hard to get an exact number. I can say that if you take all all children with epilepsy, you know that about a third of them won't respond to medication. So of those third that don't respond to medication, about a third are surgical candidates. And of that third, which is now a ninth of the total, who are surgical candidates, there's probably 60% are, are um, mm -hmm. cortical dysplasia as the basis for their surgery need or their epilepsy. So it's pretty common. 
Great. Yeah, I mean, it's I have a, a biased big, point of view, but yeah. it's pretty common. It's, it's just an exciting sort of it's area of research. It's incredibly interesting, and I think is probably going to be a true finding. That's great. Yeah.